or aging with grace. That's growing old while staying active and independent is something everyone wants. And the 15th World Aging Festival is showcasing technology to help seniors keep pace in doing just that. CNA's Ilaki Savaraji explores the innovative ideas on offer. 83-year-old Maury Zeng is one of the 300 seniors playing their hearts out for one of Singapore's favourite songs, Rasa Sayang, at this year's World Ageing Festival. Morris stands out as an active and independent senior, but many of his cohort face trouble doing the same. And that's where technology and innovation can play a huge role in providing the push for them to continue leading a normal life. Now, Trifun, we are in Singapore. Singapore is an ageing population. You see so much of seniors involving themselves actively in many activities. Now, what happens after, say, perhaps 80 years old, where mobility becomes a little bit of an issue? Um, how can they continue being more active in life? Yeah, I mean, certainly, you know, with um, sort of ageing, uh, mobility actually is a, is a big uh, challenge because, you know, with age, and you don't even have to wait till 80. I think, you know, over time, you just there's this physical decline and it, it just gets worse with uh, illnesses like neuro condition, stroke, you know, it sort of grows exponentially with, uh, with age. And at the moment, I would say it's pretty limited uh, what, can, what uh, one can do when, with, uh, when you have sort of a physical deficit as such. So that's why uh, robotics technology like the Indigo is uh, life-changing because you can support upright uh, mobility in a safe and engaging way. Innovators wanting to help are coming up with creative ideas to meet their needs. We have a super aging society, especially in Southeast Asia. Uh, so what we want to do with Bike Labyrinth is to uh, make it for the people dementia to to not have this this sickness going very fast and going like when you exercise and when you have memories from where you grew up, it will help you for your well-being and you will feel better. Also at the forefront, providing seniors a comfortable environment while allowing them to be independent and self-sufficient. In Japan, the system for pension is gradually changing. Most of the elderly people think, I'm a pensioner, so I quit job. I can enjoy the rest of life. But in Japan, most of the Japanese people live 100 years. So if they quit job at 65, 35 years, what do you do? So working is also uh, very important. It, it's also a purpose for life. As society progresses onwards, the desires of seniors for how they envision growing old will broaden, and governments have been looking into fostering more collaboration in implementing new practices and solutions. We have uh, daycare centers also for young children um, or kindergartens that are in um, senior assisted living facilities and run programs together where the old people um, interact with the children. It's very beneficial for both sides or we have senior volunteers in schools also. So this intergenerational exchange is uh, an important part of it. Simply put, one solution isn't enough. The the needs of the elderly and how to tackle them will change as societies evolve. Instead of saying that, okay, let's go for a surgery to help us with different um, aspects of our medical conditions, let's look at rehabilitation or wellness opportunities or exercise. Um, exercise is medicine. And I think this generation of seniors and future generations of seniors will understand it even more. Actually, people are actually starting to exercise a lot earlier now because they know that as they age, they want to be able to walk and climb mountains. This awareness of living healthier and happier is something that more and more seniors are taking active part in. And that makes it a holistic effort that everyone can join. Ilakia Selvaraji, CNA, Singapore.